As the same way nominations went, just raise your hand and I'll call on you. Oh, question. Yes. <laughs> Roll. So, uh, how do you critique this year's IEP and the program? Well, I think it's okay, it's okay. And um, I'm hoping to build on what she, uh, Jackie did this year, because she let the interns um, have more hands-on experience with board rather than just shadowing. And I'm hoping that next year um, I will be able to let interns be more involved with board work since we don't have a president next year and we're going to have, I guess, more tasks on our hands. So I would want to let interns be able to um, just get more experience with board and what they do rather than just like watching what they do and have them learn by them telling interns. Chris. Um, sorry, I was just trying to what are some things you'd like to uh, keep going at our well with the passage tutoring and also with the tutoring program? The tutoring? For next year, I uh, would want to work with whoever is going to be the tutoring director and just to continue getting more members out to become tutors and also they start more programs. Like this year I tried to start a peer, to peer tutoring program this quarter and it was kind of late, I guess, to do that. So hopefully start something earlier with them to, um, so it's ongoing throughout the year. Brian, what makes you passionate about IUD? Um, well, I've been in PASS since freshman year. And so I've been able, like PASS has been able, um, has taught me a lot of strengths and uh, skills that I thought I would never be able to to gain and I want to be able to help members and interns gain these skills and become stronger communicators or writers or whatever it happens to be and I want to be able to help those people just have like a journey like I did. Ariel. Um, what was your experience like being on passport this year, and how do you feel like, um, how are you going to use that for the next year? I think I grew a lot this year being on passport. I mean, I wasn't the best, um, I guess, public speaker. I'm still, I'm still working on it, and just speaking out in a group was really hard for me. I used to get nervous to going to board meetings in the beginning, but I don't know, that, that might sound <laughs> weird, but I really was nervous, and you know, being around these great people, they helped me become more comfortable just speaking out and um, just growing. And this year, like seeing how uh, board worked this year, I hope to take that into consideration and be able to help <coughs> work with and leave board next year. Jackie? Uh, since you're working with an uh, external vice president, what kind of relationship do you hope to build between? Uh, I want to be able to communicate with each other, just bounce off ideas with each other, and uh, I just hope that we both have ideas, a lot of ideas that we can work with, and if we don't agree with something, that we'll be able to work around our disagreements, and because we're working for a pass, and I just want us to be able to um, come up with things that will benefit us <coughs> most. Um, other than past, what would be your other commitments for next year? Um, my priorities are school, obviously, because we're here to be in <laughs> education. So school first, and then as of right now, past will be my only other commitment. Thank you. Paul. Right. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you envision the intern program next year? Um, like I said before, I'm hoping that they will be able to work with board more rather than just learning about what they do and not being able to actually help them with projects. And just to continue what Jackie's been doing with a lot of the, like the media, the, I guess the videos, the podcasts, and <coughs> even though I may not be like the strongest person in like graphic design, I'm willing to learn and to learn from the interns because they're going to have skills that I don't have and I just want to be able to like work with them and learn how or just 
just learn from them. Uh, two more questions. <coughs> Enjoy. Um, when is a time that you went above and beyond what your job description really is, either in work or working with other past board members? I guess right now I'm part of uh, this group, uh, sorry, group but um, an internship called Global Connect. It's through the School of Social Sciences. And we go in and we teach high schoolers about global studies. And I guess uh, in order to be able to, um, I guess, teach them what they're supposed to learn, you have to research about the topics. And because I'm not an international studies major, and a lot of other people are, I have to go like that extra step into learning about the things that we're supposed to teach, because I don't have that background. So a lot of the weeks I am going doing extra research for it, and you know that that doesn't affect like my my grades and my schooling. It's something that I want to do. For that. Um, last question, Saro. If you could relate your position next year to a group, what would it be? Why? Well, I guess the banana because bananas come as a bunch. And oh. <laughs> that would be like passport. <laughs> oh.